Hey, John, um, do you, uh, would you be feel comfortable uh, making a goalie uh, decision public today? Cor Corpy's in. Corpy is in. Um, can you maybe uh, oh. share why? No. Okay. I'm not explaining it, so okay. don't even go there. They're both capable. We decided on Corpy. Media, please use the raise hand function if you have a question. I don't see any hands. Brian Hedger, we'll go back to you. With, uh, I mean, I will, with the goaltending, just the depth you have. Uh, don't, I'm not asking about, you know, why you made the decision, but just. Yes, I mean, you are. No, I'm not. No, no. I, I'm going to ask about the depth. Uh, you know, how much of it, is that an advantage to have two guys who proved what they proved this year in separate stints? Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. They, they have, uh, as I've said to you many times, Hedge, uh, during the past couple of weeks, we're not in the bubble out here if it isn't for those two guys. They both had a lot to do with this team getting here. So they both, they both are very capable. We have decided on Corby to start game one. Aaron Portsline, The Athletic. Hey, John, part of it's because you're healthy now as opposed to when the, the pause hit. But you've got your uh, established offensive players, you might say, spread out over three lines. I'm wondering how much you need some guys who have struggled offensively to rise up in this series and sort of take a larger role in that capacity? Oh, there's no question. Uh, we're, we consider this a playoff game for us as we start tonight. And uh, it's important that our, our, our top guys uh, do what they need to do offensively. We, we, we just can't rely on uh, uh, grinding away. We need some big plays at key times offensively uh, if we're gonna have the opportunity to keep on moving. Uh, and they're, they're, the guys know, uh, on our team, the guys know where the responsibility lies and, and what needs to be done. And I uh, feel pretty comfortable as far as the mindset of the whole group. Mark Sheik, the Hockey Writers. Hey, John, any other lineup changes from the practice lines? And did you decide on Kukan or Nudevera for the other defensemen? Kukan will be uh, with Murr, yes. We'll take two more for Coach. We'll give Aaron Portsline a follow-up. Aaron, do you have a question? Uh, yeah. So, uh, John, I was looking through your – the game seems so long ago now. But you mostly matched Jenner with Tavares and Dubois with Matthews. Do you feel like you've got three centermen where you can – you don't have to chase matchups as much as you can just let those guys play, that you're defensively sound enough? We, we've never been a team that locks in on matchups, uh, and we're not going to be. Portsy, I don't remember the game. I don't even remember when we played the game. Uh, against Toronto, but now we're, we're, we're going to play. Everybody's going to get an opportunity. Uh, I'll make the call as we get going through the game, who we feel is given our best chance. And, uh, but as far as matchups, we don't get too, too concerned and locked in on that. Last one for Dan Rosen. Yeah, John, I'm curious, is the blueprint for how you guys handled Tampa last year the same blueprint for facing Toronto now? Are these because of the similarities in skill up front and how you have to grind away at them? Uh, I'm not going to talk a whole bunch about it, Danny, but uh, not really. There's, there's always different things uh, that other teams present to you. Um, but again, in Columbus, we don't change much how we play. Uh, I'm not going to explain to you. You can make your call on how you think we play. Uh, we know we're going to be who we are. I'll put it to you that. We're going to be who we are when we start game one here tonight. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.